Welcome back. This video is about setting up Linux Virtual Machine using Oracle VirtualBox, which is a Type 2 or hosted hypervisor. Since I'm setting up a virtual machine using Oracle VirtualBox, first I will download and install VirtualBox. Next, I'll download Ubuntu 64-bit ISO that I will use to launch Linux VM on the Oracle VirtualBox and then I'll set up the Ubuntu VM on the VirtualBox. Okay, so we need to first download Oracle VirtualBox. Google for Oracle VirtualBox. Click on the first link, which is Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on Download VirtualBox 6.1 image, which is the latest one as of this recording. Since I am using Mac, I will download the one which says OS X Host. You can download the one depending on your OS, such as Windows, Linux, or any other. Okay, I have already downloaded and installed it. Next, since I will be installing Ubuntu Linux VM, let me download Ubuntu ISO. Google for Ubuntu 64-bit. Okay, and click on this first one, and you can click on this to download this ISO. Okay, I have already downloaded the ISO. Okay, let me launch the Oracle VirtualBox. First, I'll set up Linux VM. Okay, so click on New and name it Linux. Ubuntu VM, rest defaults are okay. Click on Continue. And uh, this is about RAM, how much RAM I need to allocate to this VM. Since this is just for demo, 1024 MB is okay. Next screen is about hard disk. How much virtual storage do I need to provide to this virtual VM? Here, 10 MB is okay. Next, click on Create. Here, default VDI option is OK. Click on Continue. Next, default dynamically allocated storage is fine. You can change it if you like to provide a fixed size. Click on Continue. On this screen, it is showing 10 GB. Here, click on Continue. Now, your VM basic setup is done, for example. OK, now let's click on the Start button and where we will have to provide the Linux ISO. OK, now assign ISO. Click on Folder icon. Click on and here I already have it. OK, select Choose. In your case, if it is not listed, just click on Add. And you can add the downloaded ISO. Since I've done the demo previously, that's why it is showing here, OK? Click on Choose and then click on the Start. As you can see, it is progressing. Install Ubuntu. OK, it looks fine. I will click on Continue here. Defaults are fine. Click on Install Now. Click on Continue. OK, New York is fine. Your typical username, password. Weak password is fine because it's just for demo. OK, click on Continue. And now it is installing Ubuntu. You can install either VM, such as Windows, if you're using Windows ISO. OK, so now the installation is complete. OK, so I will click on Restart now. So I'm launching VM, Ubuntu VM, which I just set up. This is a username. OK, let me type my password. As you can see, I got this Ubuntu desktop. OK, so this is a terminal window of Linux. So you have the option to power off this machine or save its state. And you can also import, export this image. So if you need a Linux VM and you have resources on your server, you can launch Linux VM without buying or looking for a new hardware. OK, this is the power of virtualization. As you can see, I've set up a single VM. If I want, I can set up Windows VM or another Linux VM or how many VMs I want. I can set it up depending on how much resources I have on this machine. I think you got the good idea about how to set a virtual machine using Oracle VirtualBox.